Hello friends, this is Deepak from TechPex. Today we are here to demonstrate you one of our recent project which is totally on artificial intelligence based and using the robotics. Here you can see on the screen one robot that is designed by us recently by using the Raspberry Pi for the security services there. So the main application of this particular robot is to provide uh, an automated system for the surveillance that can be done by this particular robot. It has multiple features. We have used the artificial intelligence in this by using the Python programming that it can detect the person as well as the face in the real time scenario and once the person or the face is detected or any movement is detected on the camera it will capture that particular image and store it in its database as well as send that particular image to the concerned person on their email id so that what we have done in this particular project so before starting the demonstration of this project let me uh, brief you few of the things that what we have used in this particular project so this is the robotic chassis that we have designed it is having uh, power source because as it is not to be controlled by anyone is a robot that will move in a specific pattern in a specific path which is already defined by the user so we have given a dedicated power supply to it which is a 12 volt dc battery then we have converted that power uh, to the 5 volt and uh, to the 12 volt for the motors as you can see there are four wheels over there and four motors are connected to it you can see below right so all these motors are uh, operating by using the 12 volt dc so we have we have used one uh, motor driver circuit that is getting the input from these uh, uh, this battery as well as the commands from the controller this is the raspberry pi 3 board on which we have mounted uh, the camera uh, as well as a relay which is getting controlled for by the raspberry pi and this relay is basically for the LEDs which is operating when there will be uh, some night region or some dark over there here is a light sensor here is a LDR sensor you can also say it so once the uh, night or the dark mode will be there it will automatically get uh, input and send it to the controller the controller will send the uh, signal to this relay and these LEDs will glow on right so that the camera can capture uh, in a very better way along with that we have connected one buzzer so that once the movement is detected by the camera the buzzer will beep for once and <coughs> along with that it will capture that movement right so other than that we do have uh, this connector uh, this supply cable that we have converted from this 12 volt to the 5 volt because raspberry pi is used to work at the 5 volt supply right so this is the uh, brief of the modules that we have used in this particular project right so let's demonstrate the software part as well as the overall working of this project project so let's have a look to the demonstration of the project as you can see I have placed the robot on the system on the table and connected the system to it so that I can show you uh, what output actually we get through the coding right uh, this is the hardware that I have placed on the table and the camera you can see uh, which is in front of this robot is facing toward the gate right so let's have a look to the code so in this we have done the code in the python programming in which we have used uh, machine learning algorithm one is for the horse descriptor and second as a cascaded classifier so cascaded classifier is basically an classifier which is using the linear binary pattern histogram face recognition system because what we have done in this particular project we have done two things one is of the human detection another one as a face because for the human detection uh, the requirement is that the uh, whole person should be in front of the camera right if there will be some part of it only it, it will not be able to detect that so what we have done we have done the hybrid part of it we have detected the face as well as the uh, human body right so when I'm going to run this, you will see that the system will uh, preview, will provide the preview and uh, will show you that whether uh, the person is detected or not. And once it is detected, it will send the email as we have given the email send function designed by us in the both cases for the face detection as well as for the other one. So it will send the email to the concerned person that I will show you in the screen. So let's run it. So as you can see, when I'm initiating it, it will start the preview. The camera preview will be there on the screen 
but as we will uh, run it in the uh, boot mode in the without screen mode then it will not be there but we have shown it just for your understanding that what exactly is happening as you can see it is running the code and there is no person detected at the screen uh, once the person will be there as my one of the colleague will be coming toward the camera uh, person will be detected as you can see half of the body was there so it was not able to detect when the face will be there it is detected and image is written at the back here the whole person was there uh, once he will come toward the camera he will detect the face so as he was seeing the system you can see the face person detected the person detected all the things are going to be detected over there right so i'm just stopping it let's see what exactly happening so here in the code folder you can see the image of that particular person who was detected is captured as well as it will be there in the email also right so this is what exactly happening in this particular code let's have run this robot on the floor that it will move to a uh, predefined system right again running this code for you guys so i'm running it initially uh, it is just stable so once the person will be there you can see once the face is detected he is moved he is also giving that the person is detected right so this is how the software module is working for the uh, classifier as i already told that cascaded classifier and the whole descriptor is being used this can also be modified to the further extent by training it by ourselves by giving our, our system so currently i am using the xml file which is already trained by us in the system so this is the hardware that i am showing you the again let's have a look to the hardware one uh, when we will run this as a uh, standalone module right so what i am doing i am converting this particular code to the boot mode and we'll run it right so stay tuned i'm going to show you uh, the hardware movement in a particular one person we will demonstrate you in the video also so this is how a dedicated path can be given to the robot and uh, the surveillance the security of a specified location can be done by using the robot without any human interference so i hope you people like this video thanks for watching